Well, good morning. Yes, it is Good Friday. And uh, Good Friday, why is it Good Friday? Well, my sin was dealt for upon the cross of Calvary. Jesus took my sin on him, became my sin, dealt with sin, so that I can stand righteous before my Heavenly Father because I've accepted His righteousness. I've accepted His life. I've accepted His sanctification into my heart. Yes, you are with George at growth point growing as you are going on this good friday jesus said this is my blood shed for the redemption of sin notice this this is what jesus did so i invite you to join us this morning at nine o'clock here at west point uh the open door west point church come along bring your family and friends let's rejoice on this good friday of what jesus christ did for you and i you see when jesus bowed his head gave up his life handing it back to the father he declared the work he had come to do finished <laughs> notice that it is a finished work this is why i always say at the cross it the work is finished it is done my sin dealt with there is nothing more that i can do but to accept jesus christ as lord and savior of my life by inviting him to become part of my life by taking on his nature by taking on his likeness by being clothed in the christ likeness of jesus christ come on i place the the cloak of the lord jesus christ upon me and now i walk in his righteousness i walk in his holiness knowing that i have been sanctified through him come on so this we need to know that again as i stand before my father one day i stand clothed in the blood of jesus again god looking at the blood knowing that that is what his son came to do to redeem us back to himself you see on that day when jesus was crucified they noticed that the passover was coming to an end and they needed to deal with them quickly and listen to this, listen to this. In John chapter 19 through 33 and 34. But when they came to Jesus and they found Jesus was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. This is the evidence that his heart was broken so that your heart could be made whole when inviting Jesus into your heart. This is exactly what he did. He said, Father, they're going to pierce me, but my heart's going to be pierced for them, that their hearts would be made whole. The moment they accept me as Lord and Savior, I again give my heart in return for their heart, for their righteousness. I give them my righteousness. This is what Jesus Christ came to do on that day on Calvary's cross. You see, this is why Jesus came to dwell in your heart cleansing your heart allowing his spirit to take up residence in your heart where does the change take place it takes place in your heart not so why do you need to give your heart to jesus why because jesus heart was broken so that your heart could be made whole this is what jesus did on that good friday this is why we say it is a good friday there was a heart exchange jesus gave us his heart in return we have now a heart transplant taking place by allowing his heart that was broken to be made whole within us and we take on his wholeness now we are able to stand in the presence of our heavenly father you see on this passover friday if the death angel of egypt would be sent to your house would he find your life covered in the blood of the sacrificial lamb christ jesus or would he have to pass by Noting that you have not yet come to that place of being redeemed. Now, death awaits you. Yes, death awaits us all. But you know what? The day I close my eyes here on this earth, I open it anew in the very presence of my Heavenly Father because that of what Jesus Christ did for me. This is why we say it is a Good Friday. Why is it a Good Friday? You know why it's a Good Friday? Because Sunday is coming. And there we will celebrate again His resurrection. You see, Jesus carried your sin all the way from the cross to the grave. This is why we celebrate. Now there are five areas. Quickly, let's cover those five areas that He covered for us. 
in the garden of Gethsemane, where it all started, Jesus prays and says, Father, allow me to become their intercessor. And he prays with such uh, anguish in his life that he begins to sweat drops of blood, covering again our prayers in his blood. We go on further that his back is opened by a Roman soldier's whip, carrying our sin upon him, taking on that sin upon himself, carrying it for us to the cross of Calvary so that we could be totally healed in every area of our life. Thirdly, his head that carried the crown of thorns cleanses our minds. Again, that's where the victory takes place. We are now victorious because again, we have been crowned with Jesus, not with the crown of thorns, but with his crowns. You know, the word of God says that we will take our crowns and cast it at his feet. Why? Because he exchanged the crown of thorns for a pure crown, a crown that covers our minds, his righteousness that covers our minds that are unrighteous. That is where our victory is found. And Jesus gave it to us on the cross of Calvary. Then fourthly, his hands and his feet were nailed to that cross. Why? Because this is what we do. We, we, we do sin with our hands. Our feet carry us into sin. He said, I cover that very area again by again allowing the blood of Jesus to cover those areas of sin. And again, allowing you to walk in righteousness, to, to use those hands of praise of righteousness as you lift them to the Father. Again, reminding that, my, that the nails were driven through those hands that would give you pure praise because of my blood. Again, your feet carry carrying the good news of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you go because they were pierced on your behalf. Blood was covered in your feet where you go. And then finally, a Roman spear driven into his heart cleanses your heart, allowing you to be again inviting Jesus into your heart, making the way for ye, him to come and to dwell in your heart. So come on, why not on this Good Friday morning accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life if you have not done it. Come and join us at 9 a.m. this morning at the Open Door West Point Church. Until then, God bless.